Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. Mythic Boshras level 460 day 6 begins with High Justice Crimstone, then continues with Crash, and then there's Vandar, and then there's Emperor and Saravan. So this day, this day is a Celestial Protection Day, because Emperor Taurus and Saravan, there's going to be a bunch of stuff on the bench, not great for Artillery Strike. But how do you get through High Justice, Crash, and Vandar? Well, I happen to have a great comp for that for you. As a matter of fact, this comp can get through the first three bosses without a single treasure. You only need treasures for the final fight. So the comp is Arthas with Downward Dog. Note, in order to make this comp really work, you need Downward Dog at least level 3. Mine is on level 2, so it's a little tricky and awkward. Then I have Elise with Monkey's Paw, Gatka with Bitter Chill, Niu Zhao with Talisman of the Ox, Shuen with Celestial Chestplate, and Gigi with Flameheart Crystal, so your basic Celestial team there. For the first boss, there's the High Justice, well, Elise, Gatka and Gigi are going to be able to keep them infinitely rooted, and then Gigi also has some healing, so then you just win. Then there's the Crash Fight, Crash Fight, the same team works again, Elise, Gatka, Gigi, again, Roots, and then just chi healing and boom, you win that one too, because Crash doesn't scale. Although it is useful to have some health on Elise in order to be able to really do that so that Elise doesn't die. Then there's the third fight, the Wonder Fight. In Wonder Fight there are some failure modes. For the Wonder Fight you're actually bringing Arvus. Arvus is here to die in the Wonder Fight and not before that. So Arvus, Elise, Katkar, you have this infinite roots thing going on again. As long as Arthus makes enemies at least 3 speeds slower, that means that no one is faster than 5 speed, which in turn means that Gatkar is going to be able to permanently root the enraged Vandar, and then you will simply win. So that's pretty much that. There are a couple of failure modes here. Vandar is going to throw a mercenary back on the bench on the turn before he enrages, and if Vandar throws Gatkar back on the bench, well then you're just going to lose sad times. You can try to avoid that if Gutkar is thrown on the bench earlier, you do have to get into the Archmage form in time, but if Gutkar is thrown back in the bench earlier, then you might not bring Gutkar back on the board until someone is thrown back on the bench, and then you bring in Gutkar when Wonder enrages and you're good to go. Then another thing, once Wonder has enraged, you will want to use the regular Blizzard from the Triumph Supremacy every single turn. You never want to use all of Gutkar's abilities, because the adds can give you cooldown on your abilities. Actually, you can use the more abilities when the adds don't use the ability that gives you cooldown on ability that you don't use, because then you can just lock yourself out with cooldowns and, well, that could result in you dying. But that's the way, and then there's the final fight, and by that time hopefully you have some Celestial Protections, and Niu Zhao, Shuen, and Gigi can handle that. And this is what it all looks like in action. If this works like I think it does, this fight we would just go in with Gigi, and Gigi Elise got go. And then once we're here, they're going to attack, attack, attack. Yeah, fine. But we have roots. And hot fire. So we need Elise and we need Cutcar so that we can root turn 1, turn 2, and turn 3. With Cutcar alone, there's going to miss one root turn. And you can't have that. I need to prevent all the attacks. Boom. And we can just start start doing whatever. Well, it's hiding here. Hi, Casray. We must band together, united for United for Dalaran A. Eh? Well, we have a monkey coming. So that's good. Didn't the High Justice have any other abilities? I just don't remember. Because if this is all, then, well, this is this. 
And then with the awful state for the Vandar fight. That should be all good. We would still need to get to the awful we would still need to get to the Vandar fight. But Celestial Protection is meant to take me there. Let's see. So far looking good. Don't remember if High Justice has any other abilities. I mean, if it doesn't, then, well, it just doesn't have much of a game here. Boom, boom, boom. Right, High Justice is gone. Justice is gone. Ooh, we can make another monkey. The more monkeys, the merrier. That's what I always say. They could at least fix the bugs. Yeah, the problem is that no one is working on Mercs anymore. I mean, I guess, I guess they have some some like general coder resources that are dedicated to fixing bugs that have some Mercs bugs also on their list, but no one focuses on Mercs anymore. Yeah, this went nicely. And this means that I have three Celestials, and then I have Arthas for the Wanda fight. Which means problems against Crash, maybe? Can I just... Can I just root Crash too? I mean, they have the cleave... No, Crash has the... Crash has the AoE. Crash has the AoE. And that 283 attack is just too much. So yeah, we're going to die when Crash does the AOE. Okay, Philippus. Good evening. Sooner or later, the Crash AOE is going to happen. And that's when I will die. We have the monkey coming, but surely that's not going to save me. I don't know why Crash is waiting to do the AoE, but sooner or later the AoE is going to happen. Still no AoE. I'm the luckiest. I'm the luckiest Hearthstone player in the world. Nah, it's it's just going to give me false sense of security here. And in a while, boom. Hi, Alex. There it is. Or does it not have... Is it possible... That the trample does not have buffs on it. I mean, if that's the case, then actually... We're alive. There's no buffs on the trample. Can the trample even have buffs in it? 
If it can't, then well, we're just totally fine. That's an interesting turn of events. Elise just needs enough health to survive the trample. Another trample is coming. Elise has the health to live through it. Wonderful. Yeah, it doesn't have a spell school. The trample is no threat. Ellie's and Gatka actually get through this. Alright. And then we have Arvus for the Wonder Fight. And if my Arvus had one more level on the equipment, then Wonder will not issue and that's it. That's the bounty. So we would still lose at the end with no celestial protections, but now we're going to lose this one because I don't have the upgraded upgraded downward dog. But if I had a maxed office, doesn't even have to be maxed off. Near maxed office, then I think I could also do this one. Let's see. Because there is the root strategy for this one too. I was going back to the bench. I was just going to kill itself. No need to root yet. We can also hard fire with Gadka. This is fine. You, I mean, you don't have to if you if you slow them down so that you can perma root it. That's the whole point. Then you don't have to beat it in five turns. Reduced by the damage dealt to Stormbike Marshals this turn. I guess I want to deal some damage to Stormbike Marshals. That's just the feeling I get out of this. But this is the problem here. Because my Arvus only slows by 2. If it slows by, slowed by 3, then this would be at 5 speed and then this bounty would be 1. But because it doesn't, then... Then there is a chance that I can't do this right now. We must band together, united for Dalaran. United for Dalaran it is. We heal up a little bit. We know a little bit. We heal up a little bit over there as well. This this being at four speed now means that with my mercs, I can't do this, but the concept is Concept is valid. The only only problem here is that if Godgar gets bounced to the bench on the turn before the Enrage, and that can happen sometimes, then you can lose. So preferably, preferably Godgar won't get bounced on that specific turn. So yeah, there's still failure modes, actually. When you really think about it. Job done. Also, that four speed ability right there introduces another failure mode. Because they will use it to speed up Vandar. Mm, that was my bad. I was a little sloppy there. Should have dealt more damage to the marshals, I didn't read the text. But that's that's okay. Now if this returns, cut card to the bench, then I lose. If it doesn't, then from here it's a win.
if the speed is at 5 or bigger. Because there's no more returning to bench after this one. As long as this is not cut car, then if Downward Dog was at 3, then this would be a win and the whole bounty would be won. So the concept is perfect. Now, there's the Enrage. And the Enrage is at 5 speed. And no more returning to bench. So no one is ever going to be returned to the bench again. Which means that Wandar is perma-rooted. Wandar cannot actually get anything done. But these can still speed up Wandar at 4 speed because my downward dog isn't upgraded. And that can cause a loss. But other than that, there are no failure modes. Anymore. Once you, once you reach this point. I didn't have to let Elise die. That would have been... Not letting Elise die would have been reasonable. Oh, there was this failure mode. Sorry, I forgot about this one. You need to use Triune Supremacy every turn and never the Archmage Nova. Because otherwise they can set both of these in the cooldown and then you will lose. But if you lose Triune Supremacy every turn, then Blizzard is available from this this one every single turn, so it cannot be set into cooldown and then you will win. I forgot about that failure mode, but yeah, as you can see, the strategy itself is perfect. The bounty is solved. I slowed the ability with Arthas. But yeah, I forgot about that one. It's been a while since I did a cut car last, and Vandar last. But that's how you win this. So, because I don't have the office upgraded, it doesn't make sense for me to keep doing this, but just so that you can see how to beat that, and that's, that would have been a win. Thank you for watching. Click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this, and a special thanks to all of my Patreon supporters, YouTube members, and Twitch subscribers who make all of these videos possible.